Okay, in this video, we're going to go over the uh, Tragedy Android 4.0.4-C ROM that can be found on ejeet.net or androidtablets.net. These are the only two official sources. So this is the box that a uh, standard Momo uh, tablet apparently comes in. I bought mine from a Chinese retailer and I did not get what I expected to get so I was forced to make my own ROM which is not necessarily a bad thing as you can see we got the US plug I hope that this camera is fine for everybody it says it's an all winter A10 while it is a member of the A10 family it's really an A13 processor it's really a 1.2 gigahertz inside this one it has 512 RAM the screen is indeed capacitive has a camera and it has Android 4.0.4 .4. and the video is not really a lie it's capable but not until we see a better driver so this is what it looked like when I got it people are saying a lot of things about the touch screen not working with the ROM I just wanted to let everybody see the same experience I got uh, this is the experience I got when I opened this thing tablet user manual with actual English inside of it and pictures which is actually funny we have a mini USB 2.0 cable generic headphones and a uh, OTG cable as you know these all winners A13 box chips do not come with HDMI so well uh, there would not be an HDMI cable so I'm going to place these devices back in here as I've never used them and never will use them at this point. I, uh, I'm now going to go through the tablet. This is the tablet. I'll take the plastic off of there. So, a lot of people have commented on the thread. I guess that a lot of people have bought merchandise from some unreputable dealers that result in them ending up with an inferior tablet. While the A13 is not superior in any sense, as you see my touch screen is just fine. Uh, I'm going to move it out of that glaring light real quick. Okay, so I'm not really sure what everyone's problem is, but as you can see, I'm having no problem at all with the touch screen. As a matter of fact, we're going to turn on electric touch. It's going to ask me how to use a wallpaper. I don't really want to wallpaper, so let's turn something else on here. Let's try something from the app drawer. Once again, a great uh, way for me to test. Hmm. Screen test. And, uh, there's white, black, white, yellow. Requires me to uh, touch the screen if you haven't noticed to actually change it. It's very responsive. So uh, let's try this. Cool. 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 So yeah, the, the tablet is actually, as you can see, it is multi touch. Changes with me as I go. Two touches and let go. Boom. Capacitive. So this is the Android tablet that the firmware is listed on, you know, for <laughs> all the haters out there that are causing some troll threats. The tablet works fine, so does the touch screen. We'll open up Plume. We'll even take a look at Plume. Look, slidey, slidey. We have our tweets. We have very responsive tweets, too, at that. Thousands of them. So for anyone who has doubts about this uh, ROM working with your device, unless you have a fake screen or a uh, modified screen that's not really meant to be inside your tablet, then you should have no issue with this ROM as long as it was built in the likeness of a Momo 9. You can look up the hardware specs on the internet. Simply Google MO, MO, and then number 9. You need to look for the A13 version, of course. And I guess the last thing that I can show you would be the ability to uh, play back video with this ROM. A lot of people have problems with Netflix on their A13s. Well, this has no problem whatsoever with Netflix. So, Aside from the fact that 
I'm gonna probably have to turn it up like this. So, uh, I don't know what you guys can really see well here. It's another great example of the touch screen working. I'll pick something. I do I want to watch on Netflix today. Nothing really. Watch it all, but for these purposes, I guess I'll turn on Breaking Bad. Oh, got a notification from a friend. Play episode 25. Video is now loading. We have our uh, touch screen working great on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually play a local 720p file as well. And this the video is going to end then. I'm not wanting to make videos. I'm just doing this to prove a point. <sighs> Let's get an MX player. Let's see it here. Try and get focused. Not really possible. It's pretty hard. Anyway, this icon right here is MX player. Here we go. Pop up, it's gonna do a quick scan of my uh, modified SD card. So I have one movie and one photo. I'll first show you video footage that was captured with this camera. Uh, let's see. Great. Let's try and go a bit farther into it. Let's go back. Great. Can you go back? Now, for a 720p file, uh, I'm going to open MX Player. I'm having to hold the camera, guys. You have to give me a real, real pass on this shitty video. Bubblegum Crisis. Maybe they noticed the streets have been kept just as clean by you know who. Don't even get me started on those amateur vigilantes. Damn those night sabers to hell! I need some coffee. After this area sank and flooded during the earthquake, the city had no intention of spending any of the relief funds to rebuild Soto Ward. And yet a But sir, what about Hey, are we still in the office? Call me Kay. Okay, sure. if you insist. So do you know anything about the secret champions Wee. of justice who fight boomers that have gone out of control? Oh yeah, those night things. Oh, Zoom in, zoom out. Okay, so to all the haters out there, hate. And to all the other people that aren't hating, enjoy.